Welcome back golfers. Today I'm going to take you inside my recent practice routine with the journey to scratch golf in mind. The weather's currently atrocious in Yorkshire at the moment. It's either piddling down with rain or biblical levels of wind. So I've decided to take refuge inside and I'm going to take you through my routine because I really want to improve my game from 100 yards and in. So you can see here I've started at 30 yards with the sand wedge and as soon as I get comfortable hitting the yardage or carry distance I'm going up in increments of five. This should really help my game, should improve yours as well so give this a try. It's really useful for getting a feel for those distances, especially lower than your full swings. I tend to have a lot of these yardages in all honesty so this is great practice for me. Get some practice in all the way up to 100 yards. So my sand wedge will carry 90 yards and my 52 degree will carry 105. So there's a huge amount of gap in there. Oh wow, that's just gone in. <laughs> not quite what I had in mind, but not to worry. Take that, that's good for the confidence. There are quite a few other things I'd like to discuss today. So I will still be bringing you the breaking par episodes some of the highlights of this year are going to include playing golf in St. Lucia for the first and probably only time at a brand new course called Point Hardy, which just looks unbelievable. And to add to that, the following day I'm actually getting married. So two pretty huge days coming up. And I'll also be following that up with the Yorkshire Amateur Championship, which is this year being held at Ganton, which is widely regarded as the best golf course in the whole of Yorkshire played it once and got absolutely mullered shooting 82 it's very difficult but i'm up for the challenge so hopefully be vlogging that any ideas on where else i should be going what club do you play at should i be visiting should i be trying to break par can i break par will i just get destroyed and my confidence be shot to pieces so not only will i be working hard on my game as you can see here especially when the weather's not good and I can't get out on the course. I've been trying to train the body so the skinny noodle floppy arms will be no more. Partly because I want to get better at hitting the ball further and more consistently. But I also wouldn't mind looking half decent on the beach. So there's that. I've been smashing the weights and I've also been on the exercise bike. So... I mean, great Nick-ish. Anywho, enough about me. I'd really love to know what you've got going on this year. What are you trying to improve on? It doesn't even have to be golf related. Are you trying to improve on a certain skill? How's your golf game? All those good things. Get down into the comments. I'd really love to know. Let's have a chat. Now I've decided to have a go at the seventh hole at Pebble Beach absolute belter of a golf hole just to hone in on those skills with the sand wedge try to have a hole in one but let's be honest i'd be here for days a bit like jersey jerry had a couple of close calls though we're starting to get the hang of it just sort of hitting a nice three-quarter sand wedge came very close on a couple of occasions even got the old hand raise out which let's be honest was far too keen here we go look Close but no cigar, but you would have taken it on the golf course. Definitely better than a skull straight into the Pacific Ocean. Don't know if that's right. Oh, got a bit excited there. And then I've decided just to move on to the long irons. I don't know whether anyone else thinks this, but I've been having some real trouble. I've lost confidence in the long irons. Just struggle to get them in the air, I struggle to spin them. So just practicing here, just getting some decent strikes. <laughs> Not that one. But just trying to get some confidence together, hit them straight, that sort of thing. Got bored pretty quickly of that. Although this was a particular highlight. And I pulled Kenneth from the bag because why wouldn't you? Why would you do any practice? and not pull out the big dog and see if you can lash it as far as you possibly can. Hit a few, was getting kind of tired here. Arms still like spaghetti, so 45 or so swings in and I'm in tatters. 
So couldn't actually get one to 300 yards, but hit a couple of decent ones. There you go. 295 and decided, you know what? Let's go visit Royal Troon. Play in the last three holes, 16, 17, 18. First one's a par five. Can I shoot under par? Can I even make it to the end without falling to bits? Lovely looking tee shot. That is straight as a die, like a frozen rope. Not my longest, but it covered whatever that water hazard was. And suddenly we have a four iron, so testing that confidence. What confidence, you say? That's dreadful. But on the plus side, we've suddenly got a 45 yard shot, which we've been practicing hard for. This should be good then. Spoke far too soon. Hit that too far, and of course it's dribbled off the green. So we're going to have to chip. And for anybody that knows their way around the indoor sim, it's impossible. So what have I done? Dumped it straight over the green, and we have pretty much the same shot again. Lipped out, of course we did, and suddenly we've just made a bogey. Never mind. Now we've got a par 3, so a good mix of holes here. 174 yards, hitting a 7 iron, which I'll be honest... Outside in normal English conditions goes 165, but just watch this. Didn't swing out of my shoes by any stretch, but it's landed pin high and off it toddles over the green. And we didn't even bother going for another club, we've just bump and run it with the seven iron. Finger raise, why would you do that? Early calls never work. But apart, nonetheless, I'll take that after the chipping nightmare of the hole before. And here we go on the last. A short par 4 this time. So I should be able to get relatively close and then begin with the wedge game. Club spin. I'm off early. Two drivers so far. Ken is absolutely having a stormer and you love to see it. Short of the bunker as well. And we have almost an identical shot to earlier from the fairway. Can we impart a bit of Raz and get this close? We certainly can. Birdie, back to level. Hope you've enjoyed. See you next time. Goodbye.